everyone, in today's video, we are doing trying every Korean corn dog from H Mart. Recently, I tried the Korean corn dog from Costco, and it really made me wonder about all the different Korean corn dog brands that were out there. And I really wanted to see if any of them could compare to a real Korean corn dog shop. A few years ago, I did a video of trying every Korean corn dog in the Bay Area. And so, safe to say, I've had my fair share of Korean corn dogs, and I'm really excited to see if any of these can compare to like the real thing. So, with that being said, let's go to H Mart. Okay, we just got back from H Mart and they had a whole freezer section worth of Korean corn dogs. So I grabbed one from each brand and we're gonna try them out. And I also saw that they have so many different Korean dishes in the frozen section, like dakboki, naengmyeon, sundubu, mandu, like so many different things. So let me know if you guys wanna see a video where I try like every brand of dakboki at H Mart or every brand of dumpling at H Mart. And if we get this video to 8,000 likes, I will do one of those options. So let me know in the comments and make sure you like this video if you wanna see that. All right, so first up, we're gonna try Try this Pulmoni Crispy Potato Corn Dogs. I'm sure I butchered that, so let me know in the comments how to pronounce this brand. And just look at that cheese pull. Like, that looks mesmerizing. So to prepare this one, they recommend to use the microwave and air fryer in combination. So we place the corn dog in a microwave safe dish, heat with the microwave for 30 seconds, preheat the air fryer to 375 degrees, heat with the air fryer additionally for seven minutes. All right, here we have our first Korean corn dog, first of many. <laughs> and it definitely looks nice and golden. I mean, look at that golden crust. And there's even some parts where the mozzarella looks like it kind of bursted out. Let's see if we can get a good cheese pull. Cheese pull is not quite there yet. The bag had this really nice looking cheese pull and we didn't get that, but maybe I'll let it cool down a little bit to let the cheese harden up so that it can be stretchier. <laughs> but yeah, just so far off that first bite, I definitely like the crispiness of the outside and the batter is actually not very thick at all. You get the flavor of the crispy potato, which is always a plus in my book because it basically tastes like you're having fries with your corn dog. So yeah, let me go in now and try to get that cheese bowl. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I kind of got one. This one straight out of the packet looked pretty much identical to the Costco one. Like it was very small. It didn't have that much potato on it. So I thought it would taste like almost exactly the same, but I do like this one more. The Costco one, I found that the batter is too sweet for my liking. And I do get that a lot of Korean corn dogs, you roll them in sugar. So it does add that sweetness, but that one, it tasted too much like a waffle with cheese. I'm gonna give it a little dip in ketchup too. Mm. Overall, I don't have a lot of bad things to say about this actually. Like the batter has a really nice crunch and crisp on the outside. I love the potato flavor. And I also like how the batter is not too thick. I just really don't like when the Korean corn dogs have a hella thick batter. It just becomes too like doughy and bready at that point. But this one is a nice balance. And yes, for all of these, we're gonna rank them. So right now I would rank this as number one. Also because it's the only one we've tried so far. Next up, we have a Bibigo one, a brand that we are very familiar with on this channel. This is their Korean style corn dogs with fish sausage and mozzarella cheese. As I was browsing the whole Korean corn dog freezer section at H Mart, I realized that a lot of them, if they had a hot dog or like a sausage in it, it was always like fish cake or fish sausage, which I think is really interesting because every time I go to a Korean corn dog place, like a shop, they always have hot dog or cheese, never really a fish cake or fish sausage. So I'm very curious about that. To prepare this one, they recommend doing a microwave and toaster oven combo, but I don't really have a toaster oven, so I'm just gonna use the air fryer. So we preheat the air fryer to 180C or 350 Fahrenheit, microwave the corn dog for 50 seconds, then remove from the microwave and put in the preheated air fryer for three to five minutes. All right, here we have our second Korean corn dog from Bibigo. This one, immediately, it smells sweet. So I'm a little skeptical, a little bit, but the breading does look really nice and crispy. The breading actually reminds me a lot of like when you get chicken patties in your school lunch. <laughs> but anyway, let's give this a try. Ooh, look at how filled with cheese it is. It fills up the whole batter. Oh, that makes me excited. Okay, let me try for a cheese bowl. Mm. Mm. 
Okay, I was really worried about the sweetness that I was smelling, but it actually worked decently well in this one. I don't know why I felt like the Costco one, it just reminded me so much of waffles, but this one, I think the sweetness complements it pretty well. The batter does have a nice crisp on the outside and it is thicker than the last Korean corn dog we had. It has a nice little chewiness to it, which I like. And I like the combination of the batter with the cheese. There also is fish sausage in here, so let's give that a try. Whoa, it does taste like a sausage, but with fish. Like if sausage and fish cake had a baby, it tastes like this. I really didn't know what to expect to have fish cake or fish sausage in the Korean corn dog because I'm used to having it with regular hot dogs, but it's not bad. I do still prefer the regular hot dogs to the fish hot dog or the fish sausage, whatever you call this thing. But yeah, I mean, I would totally eat this. I still think I would rather eat the first one over this one. So I'm gonna put this one in second place. All right, next step, we have two from the same brand. The brand is in Korean, but it says Good Food Factory. So I'm gonna assume that's what the brand is called. And we have their crispy mozzarella corn dogs and their potato cheese corn dogs. So these have the same filling, the mozzarella cheese and fish cake, but the difference is that this one doesn't have potato and this one does have potato on the outside. So using the air fryer, we're gonna remove corn dogs from packaging, cook for about 10 minutes in an air fryer preheated to 180C or 356F. All right, so we have our Korean corn dogs here. This one without the potato has like a little bursting mozzarella mozzarella right there. And it also has like a little crack in the middle of it. I'm wondering if the crack is where it changes from mozzarella to fish cake. And then the potato one looks pretty good. Some of the potatoes did fall off though, but let's go ahead and try the non-potato one first. Mmm. Mm. This one, I didn't even have to try and we got a really nice cheese pull already. Oh my God, I'm so happy about that. Wow, and the breading is so crunchy and crispy on the outside. This one I think is more crispy than the other two. The other two were more on the crunchy side. I do think the breading is a little bit thicker in this one, but I don't mind it at all. It's really nice, has a chew to it, and I just love that crisp. And I'm so happy about the cheese pull too. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have it with some ketchup. Mmm, it's good with the ketchup. You can see that fish cake sticking out. <laughs> Let's give that a try. Whoa. This one does have a much stronger flavor than the last fish cake sausage thing that we tried. And the texture of the fish cake in this one, it's not as bouncy and snappy as the previous one, which I don't like as much. So this one is winning in the breading and the cheese pull, but the fish cake is lacking. I'm gonna try the potato corn dog version. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, this brand, their cheese pulls are out of this world. This one, the batter is not bad. It's not as sweet as some of the other brands, but it is quite doughy. Cause I think also with the potatoes, it's just too much. In terms of potato corn dog batter, I do prefer the first one we tried, the Pool Moon Muoni that brand because it wasn't too thick and it had a nice crunch. And then even though there wasn't that much potato, since the batter was thinner, you could taste the potato more. This one has too much batter and there's not enough potato. So for the Good Food Factory non-potato one, I'd actually put that number one. I would love if they had a full mozzarella version because I'm not a huge fan of the fish cake, but the breading and the crispiness and the chewiness and the cheese pull itself definitely shoots it straight to number one. And then the Good Food Factory potato one, I think I would actually put it last. Not that it's bad, I just think compared to the other potato one, I like that one more. And since this has the fish cake that I don't like as much, it kind of puts it at the bottom, which is actually really weird that the same brand has both the first place and the last place position so far, but we'll see if that changes. All right, next step, we have these mozzarella only corn dogs by the brand Hey Tay, I think is how you say it. And for this one, the preparation is really easy. All you have to do is remove packaging completely and cook one stick at 360F for 12 minutes. All right, here we have our fifth Korean corn dog, I believe. And this one is actually noticeably smaller than the other ones. Just thought I would make a little note about that. And I think since it's smaller, it definitely got more golden than I would have liked it to in the air fryer, but let's give it a try. We got a little bit of a cheese pull there, but yeah, this one, the batter is definitely sweet. It does remind me of the Costco one. So I'm getting kind of like a waffly flavor, which like I've kind of said is not my absolute favorite thing. The batter in this one is also pretty thick. I think it's the thickest one that we've gotten. And the outside is definitely more of a crunchy than a crispy as well. I mean, that could probably be adjusted depending on how long you air fry it. So maybe air fry it for less time. But yeah, overall, I think I would actually have to put this one in last place. This one just had too much batter. It had 
had crunchy instead of crispy. It was also sweet and it was also small. So yeah, I would have to put this one in last place. All right, next up, we have this Otogi Real Crispy Mozzarella and Fish Sausage Corn Dog. So this is another one with fish sausage. We'll see how it goes. Their recommended way of heating it up is to use the microwave and air fryer. So remove from packaging, place the frozen corn dog on a dish and cook it for 50 seconds in the microwave. Take it out and place the corn dog in an air fryer. Cook it for three more minutes at 356 Fahrenheit or 180C. Okay, here we have our sixth Korean corn dog. I'm losing count, honestly. I'm getting a little tired of Korean corn dogs right now, but it's okay. We're gonna try it. We're gonna review it. This one, when I microwaved it, the mozzarella cheese already kind of bursted out. So we lost a little mozzarella there, but let's give it a try. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Immediately as I bit down, I could tell that I didn't have that really nice crisp and crunch that I did with some of the other ones. So in that department, it's lacking. The batter is kind of thick, but it does have a nice chew to it. And also the part that I ate was the mozzarella, but I got like some fish cake flavor in it already, even though I only ate the mozzarella part, which I thought was interesting. Yeah, just looking at it, you can see that the breading is quite thick. I wish it was thinner, but let's try the fish cake part. You can literally see that I was uh, avoiding the breading. There's just too much breading, but the fish cake itself is not bad. It does have like a fish cake flavor, but it's softer than the BB Go fish cake. I think I like the BB Go fish sausage the best out of the ones we tried, but this fish cake is not bad either. I'd say for the ranking, since the breading just wasn't crispy, I mean, that's like one of the best parts of Korean corn dogs, right? You want that crispy outer layer. That definitely knocks it down quite a few points. So I think I would put this one in second to last in fifth place. All right, next up, we have this K food chef food crispy crunch hot dog. I'm not really sure exactly what the brand is because they have one that's like lot, lotty, and then they have K food and chef food. So I'm not really sure which one is technically the brand. But anyway, I'm very, very excited about this because we finally have a hot dog, like an actual hot dog, not a fish cake, not a fish sausage, but an actual hot dog. So I'm very, very excited about that. To prepare this, we remove from packaging and air fry it at 180C or 356F for about 13 minutes. Okay, here we have our actual hot dog. I'm super excited about this. I've had enough cheese. I've had enough fish cake. I'm so excited to just have an actual hot dog. So let's give it a try. Huh? Oh my gosh, you guys, I swear this is a fish cake. <laughs> Let me look at what the ingredients list tells me. Yes, it is fish cake. Wow, this is false advertising. On here, it literally says crispy crunch hot dog. And look at that picture. That looks like a hot dog, not a fish cake. But then when you read the ingredients list, the first ingredient is fish meat paste. I've been duped. I can't believe the one that was supposed to be an actual hot dog was actually a fish cake. <laughs> I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I guess, let me talk about the breading. So the outside is very crispy and crunchy. Like it's extremely crunchy. I think instead of 13 minutes in there for I could have done like maybe 11 minutes and that would have been good. This one's a little too toasty for my liking, but I do like how the batter is not too thick and it also has a chew to it. I just would adjust the time of air frying a little bit. And then yeah, I'm very disappointed that it was a fish cake and not an actual hot dog. The fish cake itself is okay. Not the worst one we had, not the best one we had either. So for this one, I'm gonna put it in fifth place, right above the Otogi brand corn dog. If this was actual hot dog, this could have been up there in the rankings, man. Okay, next up, we have this Korean style mozzarella corn dogs from the brand Sajo, but this one only has directions in Korean. So I'm gonna have to use trusty Google Translate to translate this. So basically we just air fry it for 14 minutes at 180C or 356F. All right, here we have our eighth Korean corn dog. I'm very glad that this one is the second to last one. I'm definitely almost at my Korean corn dog limit, but we are gonna try this mozzarella only one. So let's give it a try. Mmm. This one is very interesting. It almost has like a buttery flavor to it. I'm not quite sure if it's from the batter or the cheese, but I'm getting like a essence of butter in there. I'm not quite sure if I like it necessarily. It's kind of like, am I eating a Korean corn dog or am I eating popcorn at the movie theater? <laughs> it does have a nice crisp on the outside. However, this one I do feel like is a bit too doughy for my liking. I'm gonna try it with some ketchup. 
I do like it better with the ketchup. I also actually like the cheese in this one. It's very like smooth and stretchy and has a little saltiness to it as well. But yeah, the batter is too thick and there is that butteriness. So for this one, for the rankings, I'd probably put it in sixth place because I was just thrown off by the butteriness. I think if it didn't have the butteriness, it could definitely move up maybe a spot or two. But yeah, it just threw me off a little bit. All right, last but not least, we have this big whole cheese corn dogs. And these look very interesting. Like it doesn't look as thick as some of the other ones. So I'm very curious about it. It almost looks like a giant mozzarella stick. And then this one also doesn't have any heating instructions in English, so I'm gonna have to translate it and Google Translate. But basically all we have to do is air fry it at 180C or 356F for 15 minutes. All right, you guys, we definitely saved the biggest for last because this one is probably twice the size as all the other ones we had. Like this actually looks the size of an actual corn dog that you would buy. It's like kind of fragile. It already has some cracks in there and also some cheese is leaking out already as well, but let's give it a try. Okay, so I thought that this one would have a really good cheese pull, but it was like just a so-so cheese pull. Not really a great one, actually. But this one does have a really nice crispy batter, which I do enjoy. And the dough does have a nice chewiness. It is a little on the thicker side with the dough, but not too bad. I do wish there was more cheese. Like it's looking a little hollow in there. I'm not sure if it's because a lot of it might have leaked out in the air fryer. I realized that this one was also Good Food Factory, which actually is currently ranked in our number one. So I was very excited. I did about this because I thought that this would basically be the same as that one and it's also mozzarella only but I wish there was more cheese in here and this one is definitely doughier than the good food factory non-potato one that we tried earlier that's currently ranked as number one so I don't know Mm, it hurt me. It said, you want a cheese bowl? I'll give you a cheese bowl. Overall, I do think it's pretty good. I just wish that the batter was thinner, like it's too doughy. And I wish there was a little more cheese. I'm gonna try it with some ketchup. Mm. It actually is really good with the ketchup. In terms of the ranking, I think I would actually put it pretty up there. If the batter wasn't so thick, I would probably put it like maybe second place. But since it's too doughy, I think I would put it tied for third with Bibigo. So here are our final rankings for all of the Korean corn dogs at H Mart. If you guys know of any good Korean corn dog brands, please leave them in the comments below. And also, don't forget to get this video to 8,000 likes. If you guys want to see me try other things at H Mart, like all the tteokbokki or all the sundubu or whatever, comment below what you want to see and make sure to like the video. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!